All right, everyone, welcome to 209coach.com. I want to do a video for you today, and I really think you're going to really like this drill. This drill is how to maintain your load, how to maintain your load so that you can have a beautiful hand path, so you can have more power, so you can just be able to hit against higher elite pitching, okay? Now, watch what's going on right here. This is George Brett played a long time ago but he has a, over a 300 batting average one of the best baseball players that ever came out of the MLB now one thing I want to show you in this swing that I believe is going to help you tremendously if you apply what he's doing now right off the bat you can see like I always talk about in my videos his bat is vertical in other words his bat is not leaning towards the field it's not leaning towards the umpire it's vertical okay you want to start with a vertical bat now the next thing you want to do is when you set up your top hand should be facing the pitcher okay you don't want it facing the sky you don't want it facing the ground you want it facing the pitcher this is going to allow you to use your wrist correctly it's going to allow you to use your body correctly okay so all these things is not just for aesthetics it's for purpose and I really want you to just apply what I'm asking you to do in this particular drill so that you can start having a much better load and maintaining maintaining your pullback which what you see in the best hitters in the world now watch what's going on right here as he starts to coil the back leg the back hip right here you can tell he's doing this because pay attention to his belt buckle right now it's pay, facing direct off the side batter's box view and as he starts to swing it's very obvious that the belt buckle now is facing the catcher okay now, as he's doing this, simultaneously, watch what's going on. We talked about what's going on with the lower body. Watch what's going on with the upper body. What he does, he just lays his bat on his top of his deltoid, his top of his shoulder, as he starts to do the pullback, as he starts to transfer his weight, he just leaves it there. Watch what's going on right here. He just leaves it there. And you can see that there's been a process that has taken place with his wrist, okay? His wrist went from facing the pitcher, watch what's going on right here, as he's coiling his back leg, his back hip, as he's applying the pullback, now he's tilting his top palm towards the ground as he gets into a stride, as he has his bat literally laying on top of his deltoid all the way into his toe touch, and all the way into his heel plant. Now watch what's going on right here. His palm went from facing the pitcher to now you can see it's very obvious that it's facing downward. His palm is facing in front of the home plate like I always talk about in my videos. You want your top palm to be facing in a downward position. What this does is allows your back elbow to work up and behind you with the pullback. You're going to have a beautiful, beautiful resistance, beautiful load. And again, what George Brett does here, watch what's going on here. Coiling the back hip, coiling the back hip, pay attention just to the top hand as he lays his bat on his shoulder all the way into his toe touch. You can see that he maintains that angle on his wrist, okay, of his hand facing downward. Now, the reason I want you to get this bat, okay, and leave it on your deltoid all the way into your toe touch and all the way into your heel plant, just like you see George Brett, and it's very obvious right here that his bat is still laying on his deltoid. It's still resting on his deltoid, and his palm of his top hand is facing, well, let me erase this last one here, and his palm is facing in a downward position just like this, okay? It's crucial that when you do this drill, that you do this slowly and methodically, okay? When you stride when you load you want to do it with very smooth tempo very smooth load the back leg the back hip and then one of the checkpoints is your belt buckle will be facing more towards the catcher as you get into your toe touch very obvious right here was George Brett that his belt buckle is pointing in this direction why because he's coiling the back hip He's coiling the back leg, therefore his tailbone is facing towards the pitcher. Another thing you'll see with George Brett here 
that his bat is pointing towards the catcher right now as he gets into his toe touch. And just like I mentioned, his bat right now is literally laying on his deltoid. By, by, lie, by letting your bat lie on your deltoid and keeping it there, it will help you to maintain this little angle right here that he has where the bat is laying on the deltoid. And again, do this, and it's crucial that you do this in front of a mirror in front of a mirror so that you can see that your bat is literally laying on your deltoid so that you can see that the bat is pointing in the direction of the catcher this is crucial for you to do the drill correctly so again what you're going to do you're just going to set up bat's going to be vertical your palm's going to be facing the pitcher you're going to start your pullback and the coiling of the back hip together and watch what's going on immediately he lays the bat on his deltoid he leaves it there leaves it there leaves it there all the way into toe touch and all the way into heel plant again leave the bat there make sure it's facing kind of towards the outfield like you see like with george brett okay you don't want it facing upward you want the bat you want this part of the bat still be facing more towards the outfield you do not want the bat to be facing skyward especially you do not want the bat facing in the, in the direction of the umpire this will destroy your swing it will you will leak your load you will have bat drag you will have all kinds of problems so again this drill it's a simple drill you set up like i always ask you to do in my videos again look at how he's kind of bouncing the bat like i talk about this relaxes you at the setup immediately as you coil the lower body you start the pull back lay the bat on the deltoid again leave it there leave it there leave it there all the way to toe touch this will maintain that angle that you need right here in order for you to have a beautiful beautiful load you're going to have a shoulder to shoulder to elbow look just like you'd see here with george brett this is what you see with the best players in the world and what else you see with the best players in the world as they get into their heel plant they maintain they maintain that bat angle watch what's going on here with his bat he is not letting the bat go vertical he's not letting it cast behind him he is doing exactly what the best players in the world do that is why they play at the highest level because they can maintain this angle right here to have a beautiful bat pass see how it works around the corner of the deltoid lead elbow works up to the height of the mouth barrel below the hands and then he has a beautiful follow-through this produces a beautiful elite swing Again, coil the back leg, coil the back hip. You want to have a pullback, lay the back on, the bat on the deltoid, leave it there, leave it there, leave it there, all the way into heel plant. And then from there, it's almost like you're thrusting your hips. It's almost like you're tilting your upper body. It's like a roller coaster swing, like you're tilting your body upward. And then from there, you just let it go. I hope you like this video. Give me a like if you enjoyed it. Please send me comments and see how this video uh, worked for you. And again, subscribe to my channel. I got a a lot of videos to help you develop. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.